Okay, we're gonna talk about how to do an inner voice scan remotely. You want to have your client send you a 10 to 12 second recording of their voice speaking. Um, they need to say their name. So it's best to say I am their first and last name. So if it was my husband, he would say I am Emmanuel Zavios. And then he can talk about whatever he wants to. He can talk about work, hobbies, friends, family, um, anything. It doesn't matter. So have them do that 10 second recording. Uh, actually I, it needs to be, it needs to be 10 seconds. I always say 12 to 14 seconds when I request it. Can you send me a 12 to 14 second recording? Most of the time they keep talking and it's, and, um, it's a lot longer than that because people aren't really looking at how long it is and that's fine. That's totally fine. Um, just make sure when you press the record button, you, you do get the part where it says their name. I am first and last name. So um, get that ahead of time. I actually do not call my clients for this part whatsoever. So before I do, but bef before the scan is uh, completed, I don't call them um, because you don't want to have them talk out loud while you're calling them. It needs to be a recording of their voice, if that makes sense. So have them send you that recording ahead of time. Then have when you when it's the time of their appointment, have their profile put up, pulled up, um, all their information ahead of time. You don't want to be calling them at that time and getting that information because it's just going to put you behind. Especially if you're seeing people back to back like I am, it would just mess up the schedule. So you want to have even the night before. I'm trying to do that. I feel like my next day goes way better when I do that. The night before, have their profile pulled up, um, put into the system completely. So then at that 11 o'clock appointment, boom, it's ready. You have the recording ready. You're not stressing. It's completely calm and easy. Um, and then just do the scan. Press the, uh, the I do the voice plus the heart. Um, and that may change again in the future. There may only be one option. Right now there's two. So I do the voice and the vitals, mini vital scan, push that button, put the two together. So um, this is my phone case. We're gonna pretend that it's my phone. Put it side by side right here. Press this four, three, two, one on zero. Press this one, um, the play button, and then it will play it for that 12 seconds. And then it just finishes um, scanning, doing the mini vital scan. That takes about, it's less than a minute, less than a minute to do that entire part. And then you will go to the reports, click on reports, and then you're going to see a little uh, envelope type of thing. That is how you are going to mail it, email it to them. So make sure this part is super important. Always include the audio files and then click send. So then it sends to them ahead of time. Um, I have another video that you can send them of how to read their report just so they're already familiar with it. I would send that to your client before you even see them, before you even um, do, the report, do the scan or send the report. Send that to, to them ahead of time. It just kind of helps get them prepared for what they're looking for. Um, it explains things pretty well of possible things that could be pulling up on their reports. And then after you send it, you have a couple of options that you can do. You can call them um, and you can call them however you want to. This can, you can call over your cell phone. You can call through Facebook Messenger, whatever way you want to call them. You can call them as long as you're not going to do another scan. If you're planning on doing other scans with them, absolutely have to call them as of right now through a calling app like Facebook Messenger, Instagram, call, something like that. Um, when you go over their report with them, let them know the first three emotions are going to be their most overused, overworked emotions. The very last one is the most suppressed emotion. Um, and then watch the other video if you want to go more in detail of how to read the report to them and things like that. But I either call them to go over their report, even though I sent them that video, I will still follow up with, do you have any questions? Um, I go over, I actually go over at least 
at least one section. I usually will do all four of them. Sometimes if we're in a hurry, I might just say, let's go over your first one. And then the other ones are going to be similar. Just follow that same pattern. Um, or another option I do, this one I do a lot of. I actually, so I have my AO scan here. I have my cell phone here. I'm videoing myself talking to them so they can go back and rewatch these. This is um, very, people love this. It's very, it's one of the favorite things, my favorite, the favorite things that I do. They like to either have me video it or send voice notes recording of it so they can go back and watch it. So however, and I ask them ahead of time, would you rather me send you a video explaining it? Do you want to do a phone call for me to go over your questions? Most of the time people are like, oh, a video would be cool. I can rewatch that. So I will, I literally do this. I literally am like this. I'm videoing it. And then I'm pointing to different things, but whatever I'm saying, I'm pointing out with my finger, like, here's your sub emotions that are effect that are underneath the fear. Um, here are the, it pulled up three bacterias and remember, this is not to diagnose anything. It's the frequency of it. So inside that body, their body was found the frequency of these things. So it doesn't necessarily mean like, you have this or you have that. It's just you, your body does have, show the frequency of this. Another important part, sorry, this is gonna be the longest video. I'm trying to keep this all within a couple of minutes, but I feel like this one's gonna be super important. Um, another thing that is super important to let people know, um, if you are a practitioner of any sort of kind, you probably already know this. If not, um, I'm gonna share a little secret with you guys. So these, especially the sub emotions and even different things, bacteria, um, things like bacteria, even like, uh, mold viruses, um, can actually be energetically or inherited from somebody else. So let me explain that. You say, on mine, um, say the sub emotion was, uh, guilt. Okay. Maybe it's not my own. Maybe I absorbed it from somebody else close around me who feels that heavily or, um, your, one of your parents, you know, this could be even from years and years and years ago. Maybe one of them felt that one a lot. Or, um, when you're explaining that to them, make them know that, or it's someone could have made you feel, try to make you feel guilty. And that's why you feel that one. Um, but sometimes it's you've absorbed it from somebody close around you or you've actually inherited it from a parent or and then grandparent. It could be great grandparent and so on, like for a long time, a lot of generations. Um, same with different, uh, especially if you see miasm, that's what that is. So a lot of people don't know what that is. Miasm is inherited from generations. Who knows? Like great, great, great grandma could have been really, really sick with something and it, it just gets passed down to each each generation. So that's what that part means. Let them know. Because if someone is like, that is not me, I don't resonate with this, let them know, okay, you could have absorbed it from somebody else. Even um, like something like bed bugs, it might not be their own. Um, it could have been absorbed from somebody around them that had it or... Um, they could have just been like near some, and again, it's just the energy of it was absorbed. It doesn't necessarily mean like they were, uh, it was like a them thing, physical type of thing. So hopefully that helps answer some of those questions. Let me know if you have any other specific questions about this section, but it's so important to go over the report with your clients. Um, it's not going to do a lot of good if you're doing scans and then just sending it to them. They need to actually be being told what these all are. So please let me or your QLA know any questions that you have and I hope you have a great day.